Hey guys, so this week I will be doing week 31 update. And this week has been kind of interesting for me. I would say that it's been a roller coaster just because I've been really cranky and emotional and my husband can definitely vouch for that. He has uh, more than once commented on my crankiness and just said, you know what, you're pregnant, so I'm just gonna let that one go. <laughs> so it's really funny because I feel like with my first pregnancy, I wasn't as cranky, but um, he wasn't as understanding. So this time around, I, I might be a little bit crankier and more emotional, but he kind of understands. He's kind of a professional now. He's like, okay, I've been through this, your hormones are crazy, and you're crying for no reason. So he'll just laugh it out, really, if he says something, and I'm just like, I'll just start crying. Um, and I really don't even have an example. It's just the stupidest thing can happen, and I'll just start crying about it. So I'm sure it's really frustrating for him, but I really don't even, I can't help it. It just happens. It just, I get angry um, really, really quickly and I get emotional really, really quickly. So it's, it's kind of frustrating for me as well because I do catch it. You know, if I start crying about something, I'm just like, as I'm crying and my husband's like, why are you crying? And he'll start laughing and then I'll I'll kind of start laughing myself, but I'm so emotional. So it's like crazy because I'll cry and then I'll laugh and it's just a hot mess. But um, overall, <laughs> I, it's been an okay week. Um, I haven't gotten sick or anything like that. I've been really stuffy. I'm not even sure if it's that I'm about to get a cold or if it's just, I don't know, but I've been really stuffy and I've kind of almost been meaning to visit an allergist just because this can be normal like i don't breathe like other people do i always like i'm always like <sighs> and i feel like i've been doing that for so long that it's kind of normal to me so i don't really notice it but my husband kind of notices it. i always fall asleep before him and he's like oh my god you make so much noise when you breathe or if we're just watching tv and he could hear me like <sighs> okay it's not that bad but it's pretty bad that that he notices it and I, I'm kind of beginning to think maybe I'm allergic to something and that's why maybe it's just allergies I, I don't really know or maybe I am getting sick um the baby has been sick she's just really mucusy and she has a fever the fever has kind of kind of gone away but she's still really mucusy so I was thinking maybe she's given whatever she caught to me I don't really know but it hasn't really um bothered me so much but um that's basically what has kept me a little bit up at night just because it's 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 annoying and that aria hasn't been able to sleep well so she's kind of been having to sleep in our bed and then when she sleeps i transfer her over to her crib and that's been a mess but i kind of when she is sick i know she's not being she's not like throwing a tantrum for no reason i understand that she doesn't feel well well she can't breathe in her bed so i do kind of get away from the sleep training schedule um the time she is sick and it's been probably twice and then we have to kind of just sleep train her again but she really learns really quickly within two days she's done so it's really just i hate seeing her how she is right now so i haven't been getting as much sleep as i normally do i really always hit probably seven to eight hours of sleep every single day, which is great and fabulous, and I'm really thankful for that. Um, maybe it's related, I'm not quite sure. I just know that I've definitely been really cranky this week. Um, and really just now, I kind of put two and two together, now explaining it out loud. It could be the lack of sleep that makes me really cranky and emotional. I don't know, I don't know, maybe. Or maybe it's just the pregnancy. But um, this week um, has been better in the sense that I don't feel as the belly as heavy, but I might just be getting used to it and taking it and just accepting the fact that this belly is that much bigger, but I am feeling the belly is like rock solid. It's not soft. It's really, really hard. I mean, it's like touching a wall. It's, it's really, really, really hard. And she kind of positions herself in certain positions where she kind of just puts her whole body either on my right side or on my left side and it kind of is painful so I kind of have to rub it rub it until she starts moving again because just her putting her entire weight on one side of my body is not fun 
Um, besides that, uh, it's been really hectic at work, so I haven't had as much time as I wanted to organize the closets. I need to organize Arya's toddler room. A few of you were asking me if they're sharing a room. They're not sharing a room. We did have a guest room, which is now going to convert into Arya's toddler room, and we're kind of in the process of getting her room ready. I don't have much. I have her bed done, and I just need some girly decorations because right now it's kind of plain Jane. So the nursery is basically going to stay the same. I'm thinking of just doing names for Audrey's room and then transferring Aria's name to her toddler room. But that's basically it. Um, I don't think I need to really change much. They're both girls and they're really close um, in age so I don't think that I needed a new theme or anything like that. So her room's basically going to stay the same and I've mentioned this in a couple of previous vlogs but that's basically the plan but it's been so hectic at work and I've been so kind of frustrated with a lot of things that I haven't had time to organize Arya's closet to organize our closet I did organize our garage which was amazing um, I finally got to clean everything out so the garage looks perfect and it's as good as it's gonna get it's not gonna get any better than that and Jamie has a huge area to work out so I'm really really excited for that he asked for that and within two days I was able to provide him with that space to work out so that is definitely exciting I want to definitely get our closet organized and Arya's closet organized and just finish her room and I'll go ahead and film that and I really am probably gonna end up at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Home Goods for all of her decorating, um, I guess, accessories, just because they have really cute things. And I've seen them for probably the past two years, but I haven't really had a need to get anything until now. So I'm really excited for that. And what else? We're trying to get one more Disney trip in before the baby comes. Um, and then after the baby comes, we're definitely gonna go back. I'm so excited. I've become like addicted to Disney. I had such a great time last time I went, so we really wanna go again. And just take advantage of the fact that we have those annual passes. And I think we're probably gonna schedule, um, or plan, I should say, a trip for Aria's second birthday. It's in December, and that's kind of when we got our annual passes, so it would probably be our last trip. But I'm thinking maybe instead of having um, a big party for her, I'll just get them both cute little Disney matching outfits with Aria saying like a big number two and then go to Disney and have that as like her um, birthday celebration. And she really enjoys Disney so I know she's gonna love it. And that is about it guys for this week. Um, I am weighing 140 three and a half pounds um so i'm definitely growing per week but again i think i finished off aria's pregnancy i don't know, i really need to look back at my, my old videos but i think i finished off her pregnancy at 154 pounds if i'm not mistaken so it's kind of getting close um i am now 143 pounds and i have two months to go and you grow the most at the very end so it's pretty, pretty, pretty insane, but baby is growing very rapidly, and I'm guessing she has to be at least 4.2 pounds um, right now. So that's just kind of estimating from last week or two weeks ago how much she was weighing. So maybe even more. Whew, this is getting kind of scary, but um, it's getting really, really real. I have been, this week actually, I've been thinking a lot about kind of what she's gonna look like, how Arya's gonna interact. I'm really, really almost positive that Arya's gonna be really good with her just because she's really good with other babies and she's really good with my belly. Um, she just shares her drink and her food and she's always kissing my belly and saying baby and hugging the belly. So she's really, really cute with the, the baby in the belly. So I'm sure she'll be cute with her outside the belly as well. And I've just been kind of thinking, would she have blue eyes? Would she have kind of um, the same shape? Because Aria and Jamie have the same kind of shape to their eyes. It's kind of like an almond shape. And it's very distinctive. That's why 
Everybody that sees Arya, they say, oh my god, she's identical to your husband. And I really think it's just the eyes, which I think she really looks like me too. But <laughs> but that's an ongoing battle that my husband and I have. I'm like, she looks like me. No, she looks like me. So I've kind of been wondering, is she going to have blue eyes or green eyes or have the same shape? Or is she going to be as white as Arya? Because Arya is so white. I mean, she literally, if she barely touches her head, she'll get like something red across her head. Because she's almost like transparent she's so white she's gonna look more like me or she's gonna look just identical to Arya I have no idea so it's kind of like all those things are coming to mind since I'm getting so close to the delivery date and it's getting to the point where I'm almost about to meet her so I'm kind of just envisioning her in my head and it's just fun and exciting kind of like the the butterflies in your stomach in just anticipation to meet the baby. So that's really exciting. And that's it for this week, guys. So I'll see you guys next week for week 32 update. And I'll show you my baby bump now. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So here is week 31. And I'm actually wearing the same shirt in my week 16 update. So maybe I'll link it below so you guys can see the change in the belly size. But um, here it is.